to Katrina's Creations. It is episode 200. I never would have believed it. Four years, well, almost four years ago when I started that I would be, has it been four years? I think it has. I started now. Is it three years? When did I start? Who would have ever guessed? I certainly wouldn't have four years ago. And in September or October, it will be four years that I have had a podcast. It's gone like so fast. And I've met so many nice friends out of this. Um, I just want to take a couple minutes just to say thank you so much for watching me every week, for being encouraging and supportive. And I just really feel like I have met a lot of really nice people through all this and a big yarny hug because I just wish that we could all get together and have a big knit and crochet along with our tea and chatting and that would just be so much fun. So I just want to say a huge thank you to everybody. And now let's get started with the fun stuff before I get all weepy. So I have several finished objects this week. I have a knitted hat. This is for the... Um, Hat Not Hate program, and so this is, and I know it is, it is beyond September 1st at this point, but we are actually, Kim Brain and I and the other people in our little yarny group that get together uh, for coffee and knitting are actually making hats for a local uh, elementary school, and so they said they would take hats um, up till November. They didn't need them before then. So we're just giving, rather than send them to the foundation, we're just giving them directly to the school. So we have this one. This is knitted. And this is kind of a modified globular hat. I started making this pattern and I couldn't remember what it was and I didn't have it with me. And so I just kind of, the top it looks like my pinwheel hat. The bottom kind of looks like the globular beanie. So it's it's kind of a combination of several patterns. So, but it's a hat. So we have one hat. And then I have a crocheted hat. And this one is um, Stormy Waters. So that is this one. So I have two hats, one crocheted, one knitted. And speaking of knitted hats... Um, I had someone ask, one of the viewers asked this week about joining in the round when you're knitting. And so I'm going to make a tutorial for Wednesday. That's going to be what Wednesday's video is going to be about. There's various ways to join in the round when you're knitting. Um, I'm going to show you this, this method that I use, which to me is very easy. Uh, so anyway, stay tuned Wednesday. That's that's the video. <laughs> then we have my final finished object, which I am absolutely in love with and will definitely make more. And that is my basket. This is the one thing I really like. There's my little the little pocket or the pockets. There's the handles with the slits. I love it because this would really even make a great pocket book. It's nice and sturdy. This is knit or crocheted with clothesline every other row. And look how sturdy it stays up all by itself. It really is, I mean, it's it's going to be washable, but it stands up on its own. I love it. That's how far I was last week. You can see there's my stitch marker. So I went up the rest of this. And I still have tons of this gold left. So I am going to make another basket and I will still probably have enough left over because I am holding double. I'm using Pound of Love by uh, Lion Brand and I'm holding it double because it's a worsted weight. So double would make it a bulky and I'm crocheting around three sixteenths inch cloth uh, clothesline. It's just cotton. I said cloth. It's cotton clothesline. So that way the whole thing will be washable when I'm done. So there it is. I love this. I will be making more. So, uh, yes. And it holds everything. I've been, I have been working on anything that's like large quantities of stuff. I've just stuffed it in there and it holds a ton. I had two 
of those great big pound of love skeins of yarn in there, as well as the rest of the clothesline. So, um, yeah, it holds a lot. So I really like that. So those are my two finished objects. Now we'll get onto my works in progress. And somehow they keep multiplying. I don't know how, but I keep getting more and more. So the first thing is the knitted cowl that I am making. I'm actually designing this pattern. I love how it's turning out. Let me hold it up. There it is. I like these stitches. And then there's this kind of spiral motion going on in the bottom. And then it's repeating up here. So I really like this. This yarn is from Appalachian Sock Company, Kim Garver. Now, when you watch Show and Tell, you will see some socks that are knitted on a vintage Laguerre knitting, sock knitting machine. And she owns Appalachian Sock Company. So she makes these socks, but she also hand dyes yarn. And Kim Brame and I went last fall on a little field trip to West Virginia to visit Kim Garver and watch her do these knitted vintage socks. So if you did not see that field trip and you would like to check it out, you can click the link right over here and you can see um, you can see us in, in our all our glory on using the knitting machine. She actually trusted me to turn her sock. It's, it's like a sock machine from the 1890s. And uh, she actually let me touch it, which is, I wouldn't have let me touch it because I tend to break things. But anyway, she did let me touch it and um, crank out a, um, like a big sock tube that was then used to make a headscarf, which I gave to my granddaughter because um, she loves to wear little headscarves and they look adorable on her. Um, so anyway, um, yes, that is, this is Kim's sock yarn and as you can see it's got such sparklies are showing that there are sparklies in it maybe you can see it more in here the yellow does not have sparkles in it but the other does and this is a sock color i don't know if she's has any more this is from 2018 and it was called i love the name of it i fell in love with a swamp monster yes but i love the colors in it it's just it is the colors I like, tans and golds and turqu different shades of turquoise with gold sparkles. It's got glitter. How can I go wrong? So, um, yes, that's project number one that I'm working on. Then project number two, you will remember I made the little llama slippers last week. Now I am making... It's supposed to be a baby blanket, but I have a feeling I might run out of yarn. So it might turn into a baby, a baby sack. When our kids were little, we called them layettes. But so if you're my age, you know what I'm talking about. Now they call them baby sacks. They basically look like a little, little knitted sack or crocheted sack, and you just put the baby in it. Think sleeping bag for a baby. Um, but here it is so far. I am modifying the pattern just a little bit, but it is a shell stitch on the bottom, and then it goes to double crochet, and then it's it's just kind of striped back and forth between uh, the shell stitch, double crochet, and you, you crochet into the back loop so it creates a ridge, and then you have more shell stitch. So the reason I don't think I'm going to have enough, this is... Carlton, this is all I've got left of the first skein. Uh, there's 250 yards in each skein, and I am probably a little more than halfway through the first skein. And this is a micro acrylic, which it is super, super soft. Um, it almost reminds me of, um, I had some yarn one time that was actually made from sugar cane. That's what this reminds me of. It is super soft. And I am holding it with a faux mohair. So they're the same color. And all that's doing is just giving it a little bit more bulk. And because this, as you can see, it has, has fuzzies to it right here. It's just making the, it's making it a little furry. No, it just, it's just kind of giving it some soft edges to it. So I am crocheting this with a number six, I think. I'm, I think I'm needing a, a crochet hook for every project that I've got, and all of them seem to be 
number six is right now. Let me see. Yes, six millimeter. I'm using it in a six millimeter. So that's what I am doing with the baby blanket. Then I'm also using a six millimeter to make another hat. And this is another Stormy Waters, but I just modified it a little bit. Uh, because, simply because I did not, again, have the pattern with me. I was doing it from memory, and I didn't make the top wide enough, so it looks a little small underneath here. So I'm I'm adding some um, increases around the edges here so I can make it a little bit bigger because that's, that's only going to fit a baby's head. So, yes, I'm just doing a few modifications. And this yarn, I have no clue what it is. I do believe it's an acrylic. It is a single spun, so it's not like plied. Um, this is the same yarn that I made this out of. And I had a bunch of it because I had made this into a vest. And then it was a vest that did not turn out really well. It was... Um, in the tub of shame, which is where projects that don't go well go to live until I can bear to rip them apart. But it had too big of armholes, which made these big openings in not so great of places. So yes, it got ripped apart and I didn't know what to do with the yarn. And then I was like, oh, I need some blue yarn. Although the school has told us they don't necessarily have to be all blue hats. They are happy to get any hats at all. Um, you know, as far as what color, they, they're like, we are not really picky. It does not have to be blue hats because not all kids like blue. Um, but I had this yarn and it was pretty. And because I love the different colors in this. This is almost like an aqua color. It's looking light blue, but it's actually aqua. And um, so now it's going to go to some good use rather than uh, living in the tub of shame. So, uh, yes, that's the next project, and I'm using a six millimeter needle or hook, hook, not a needle, hook, with that as well. And then my last work in progress is the sweater I am working on. I am also using a size six millimeter. I need to get lots of six millimeters, apparently, because with worsted, <laughs> can't believe I did this. I just put my hair hooked in the hook. I wonder if I could crochet my hair. That would make my hair do look interesting. Uh, but here's how far I've gotten this week. That's where I was, and I've gone about four inches. And this is what it looks like so far. It is bottom up. I love the colors and how it's just kind of real lightly striping. It's very soft. This is Lion Brand Homespun. And the links to the yarn that I have talked about as far as the Pound of Love and the uh, Homespun and one of the other ones I'm going to show you, I will put them, well, actually a couple other ones. I will put the links down in the description box if you want to go over and check them out. Uh, so anyway, this is called Sunday, Sunday something. Sunday Stripes. This is called Sunday Stripes. This is two skeins worth. I have like 10 skeins of this yarn, so I should have plenty for this sweater. It is going to be a thick and heavy sweater. It's... It's going to be very cozy and warm. So I am looking forward to, to continuing and finishing that. And I actually have some homespun. As thick and warm as this is, I have some homespun that I bought at the same time that's really, really pretty maroon color. I think instead of a um, sweater, I'm going to make it, I'm going to crochet it into a cardigan because that would be really perfect or, you know, like the winter or whatever, because it's nice and heavy on those days that aren't too cold, I could actually wear that. So, um, yes, that is my final work in progress that I've got going on right now. So now it's time to look at what you all have been making.
did want to update you on a project that I had been working on, or I hadn't started working on it yet, but I bought this and showed it to you in last week's acquisitions. This is Comfy Cotton Blend, and I have two skeins of it, and it's kind of a gray, peachy color. There you can see, that's really shown up well. And I wasn't sure if I was going to use this in my bathroom or not. I bought this to hold it double or even quadruple possibly and crochet a bath mat. Now this has, um, it's considered a number three, but I'm going to be holding it at least double. There are 392 yards. So I will probably hold it double. I want to make a bath mat out of this. Um, and I was worried whether it was going to match in my bathroom. I think it's going to be fine. And it was interesting because I was, um, I got a message from Spring Noelker. She actually has used this yarn and made a bath mat. Hers looks much better and more detailed than mine's ever going to look. I'll show you a picture of what hers looks like. Don't expect that from mine. Mine's going to be just bare basics. I'm not sure. It's probably just going to be round. Um, yeah, might be round, might be oval, might make it oval. But um, I don't need anything fancy. I just need something as a bath mat. The one I have in there that I knitted years ago looks like I knitted it years ago. It's really starting to look rough. And it's a bulky wool which every time I wash it, it doesn't shrink and it doesn't felt. That was my idea as it would felt. It doesn't shrink. It doesn't felt. It just kind of fuzzes up and kind of looks icky. So anyway, I need another bath mat. So that's what this was going to be used for. And she also gave a little tip. She said with this particular yarn, work from the outside in, don't center pull it. Um, she didn't say why, but I'm assuming that maybe it just looks like it's it just looks like it's a little twisted funny in the center here. So I'm thinking it may be either knots up easy, gets tangled, or the whole skein collapses upon itself really easy. So I'm going to take her advice and uh, start from the outside in. So that will be another project down the road once I get some of those that I showed you finished because. I keep piling on more projects and more projects. I just keep seeing things I want to make, and it's like, oh, I want to do this, and I want to do that, and I don't finish what I'm working on to begin with. Yeah. Anyway, on to acquisitions. I have one acquisition this week, and this is Knit Crate. If you missed the video, you can click the link here, and you can see it. Um, but here's a short little recap. I got two skeins. I have the membership box. This is called Sandstones. It is extremely soft. 50% superwash merino, 30% linen, 20% silk. And the silk gives it a nice sheen, but it also makes it extremely soft. This is going to be so nice to wear up against the skin. It's going to be perfect. Uh, there is, it's a fingering weight. There are 400 yards in each skein. So I have two. And it came, um, the membership box comes in three different colors. This was called, um, I think this was the neutral. This was considered neutral. It's just, it's a light, light powdery pink, almost a blush color. And then they had the Energize Me color it was gorgeous. It was like a berry, cranberry maroonish color. Absolutely pretty. It actually would look really good with this mixed together. At least I'm thinking it would. They just look like they would go together so nicely. Um, so if one comes up on sale, I'm, yeah, I might. Anyway, we'll see. But um, I'm not making the patterns that it came with. The other color it came with was a mint, kind of a minty green. And here was the one pattern. They were both shrugs. The crochet and the knitting pattern this month were shrugs. And if you watch the video, most of you agreed with me. Shrugs look great on people who have a figure to wear a shrug. People of a larger variety, it would look like a shrink, not a shrug. Um, but they're very cute. Like I said, it's adorable on her. 
There's her. That's the crochet or the knitted one. And then the crocheted one. Let me see if I can find it. There is a longer version for the crocheted one. But you're holding the yarn double to make it, so I'm having a funny feeling it's not enough. You have to find more skeins of yarn to make the longer version. Yeah, the longer version wouldn't be bad. And it's just basically a crocheted rectangle that you join at the ends. So that's all that is done to create a shrug. But I'm curious. Yeah, the oversized one is going to call for a lot more skeins of yarn between four and eight skeins. So no, won't be making that one either. Um, but here's the crocheted one. Again, it looks adorable on small people. So if you're a small people, it would look great on you. Uh, me, not so much. The knitted patterns for the socks, I do like. This is called the cactus flower. And I do like that pattern. The crochet socks, again, not so much because I just don't think they're anything really special looking, sadly. So, um, yeah, the patterns, I was not as thrilled with the patterns this time. So about the only one I would probably think about using, unless I made a shrug for my granddaughter. She has one of those small figures that could wear that. Um, otherwise, no. Anyway. But here's the interesting thing. When I put, this is the skein of yarn for my sweater that I'm making. When I put this up together with it, look how good that looks. So I don't know what I'm going to do, but I, I'm thinking if I make something that would go with this. And it's funny, the other color that, that was with the, the knit crate is almost this color of green. How funny. So, um, but these look so good together. I mean, they honestly do. So I'm, I'm going to have to do some thinking that maybe some type of a scarf or a cowl or something. I want something around my neck because it's extremely soft. But I'm thinking with this, it would look super. So that's my thoughts. So now it's time to announce the winner of the giveaway. Uh, this is a giveaway uh, to commemorate the 200th episode. And so here is the yarn that is going to be given away. It is Wool Ease Hand Dyed. Here it is. And this colorway we had much discussion about. It's called Key Lime Pie. And we were like, where do they get Key Lime Pie out of this? I mean, key lime pie is kind of this color. It's almost a, a greenish yellow, but the rest of it I'm not real sure about. Right after I finished filming the video, it dawned on me what it might be based on, and some of you came to the same conclusion. Key lime pie originated in Key West, Florida. The buildings of Key West, Florida are painted in tropical colors. So, I'm thinking that might be what this is supposed to commemorate. I've never been to Key West before. My grandparents have because um, if you're familiar with uh, like Ernest Hemingway, Ernest Hemingway lived some of the last part of his life down in Key West. Um, my grandparents actually knew his sister. And it's funny because you can take a tour of the house down there. He actually didn't own that house. He rented it, and apparently he liked cats, and there was like 30 or 40 cats in the house when he lived there. Ew. Anyway, um, yeah, <laughs> just a little tidbit there. So um, anyway, this is the yarn that is being given away. I used, like I said, random comment generator to pick from the comments. There was a total of 81 entries, and the winner is... Donna McCormick. So congratulations, Donna. If you would contact me over at Katrina's Creations at Yahoo.com and let me know your um, address, I will get these out to the in the mail to you as soon as I receive your information. So congratulations, Donna. And um, 
guess I should tell you how much yarn is in this. Each skein is 146 yards, and it is a worsted weight. It's a number four. So uh, you have two. So just shy of 300 yards. So it would be actually 256 yards total. No, 209. I taught my children at home. Isn't it scary? Um, it would be 296 yards total in here. So, no, it's not. It's 292 yards. Right? So that's enough to make a cowl, and it is soft. It's soft and it's fuzzy, and they're calling it a number four worsted. I would tend to call this more of an Aran weight. To me, it looks heavier than your average worsted. So, um, yeah. Anyway, congratulations, and thank you for all of you who entered. And there is more giveaways coming up. Um, October is the fourth anniversary of the podcast, so there will be a giveaway there, and there are some other things in the works under a collaboration, so um, yeah, stay tuned because there's more stuff, good stuff coming your way. Now it is time for Now in our Come and Get It section this week, um, there was a lot of Lion Brand good stuff this week, and they tend to do just one-day sales, so I'm not going to say anything with Lion Brand today, other than the yarns that I've talked about. Um, the links are down below in the description box. And there is a little notation up there that's that just a disclaimer to let you know. Um, I am a affiliate for all of these different places that I talk about, if you buy through that link, I do get a commission, which helps support the giveaways and things because I couldn't afford to do it out of my pocket. Um, so it does help to support the channel and support doing more giveaways. So Nitpicks is having a sale. I put a little announcement up. I put a little announcement up earlier this week because the sale was running for just a few days. It ends on September 7th, and it is an end-of-summer yarn sale. So it is up to 40% off over 600 different yarns that they carry. So that is Knit Picks. The Dollar Tree still has their premier yarns. Leisure Arts. They have two different patterns I am looking at. Um, I've told you in the past I've got these Pound of Love yarns, and depending on how much was left after making the basket was going to determine whether I could make a two-color plaid afghan or a three-color plaid afghan. I'm thinking I'm going to have enough to make the three-color plaid afghan, but I want to show you the two patterns that I am looking at. The first one is called, this is the three-color one, is called pleasing plaid set and it's crocheted and it's called a set because there's a pillow and a blanket i'm not going to be making the pillows i don't need any more pillows um but i it it comes together so anyway it is 5.99 and then if i end up making a two color afghan which i like it too because it kind of looks more colonial looking, more primitive looking. So I'm, who knows, I might end up getting that and making it, making something else with it. But anyway, uh, it's called the Comfy Plaid. It's also crocheted and it is $5.99. Now Create for Less, I'm on an Afghan kick here again. They have a year of Afghans, and they, they put out apparently a book every year. This one that I'm going to show you in particular that I thought was pretty is number 17. It is an actual book. It's not a download. At least I don't believe it's a download. From what I looked at, it looks like it's an actual book. It's $11.24, and it is 12 Afghans. So it's, one, it's a different Afghan for every month of the year. And so, again, that is called A Year of Afghans.
And then they also have a Leisure Arts Big Book of Quick Knit Afghans. And it's eight oh nine. And there's twenty four Afghans in this book for eight oh nine. That's a super good deal. Uh, that's a little over thirty cents per pattern. So um, I'll show you a picture of that. And then last of all, um, Annie's over in their yarn section, they have shape yes. It looks like sheep cheese, but it's actually pronounced shape yes. Alpaca for $4.99 a skein, which is a super good deal for alpaca. Alpaca is lightweight, but it's very warm. Um, so I love knitting with alpaca yarn. It is super, super it's just it just feels good in your hands to, to deal with. So anyway, that is Shape Yes Alpaca for $4.99. And they also have Premier Basics yarn on sale for $2.99 a skein. So those are the sales that I know of this week. And then as Lion Brand puts up sales, I will let you know. I do know Wednesdays they tend tend to do um, the Wonder Wheel Wednesday, which when you get to the website, you click the little spinny thing and it tells you how much of a discount you're going to get. So, like I said, as Lion Brand announces sales, I will pass it on to you guys. Now, I did want to end the podcast by mentioning a couple other new podcasters. If you want to check out their channels, they are people who watch the channel. They are viewers here. One is Strings in Things with Lori Knutson or Knutson. I'm not sure how she pronounces her last name. It's either Knutson or Knutson. Um, but that is Lori and it is Strings and Things. And then there is Creative Knotting. So these are two newer podcasters. If you want to go over and check out their channel and see what they have to show and talk about, I'm sure they'd appreciate it. So, yeah. So that is it for this week. Thank you so much for joining me. If you've enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please click that subscribe button. And the little bell-shaped icon next to it will let you know anytime I post a podcast, which is Saturdays and Wednesdays, and then whenever a sale shows up. And don't forget, Wednesday's video is going to be how to join in the round with knitting. So thanks again for watching, everybody. Bye.